Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. And thank you for checking out this video. My name is Rochelle and for the people who don't know me, I created a brand online called the DIY Affiliate. And the DIY stands for Do It Yourself. I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that will show you exactly what to do and how to do it. If you are looking for the easiest, quickest, and most cost-efficient way to create an online business, then you have arrived at the right channel and the right time. Also, if you're the type of person who likes to be comfortable, who likes to be uh, relaxed, and who likes to be able to take their time to understand something, I am going to start doing actually longer videos than I have been doing because I know the new trend is 2 minutes to 5 minutes to 10 minutes to 15 minutes at the most and yes that is the new trend because people say a lot of people just don't have that attention span. However, if you are interested in learning something, I do step-by-step videos in which you can follow along with. I can't seem to put 10-15 minutes and cram everything in to the one video and give you all the information that you need and say that I've done a good job of showing you what to do. So I am going to be doing videos that are at least 20, 30, 40 minutes at the most. I will try to do videos, if I can, shorter, 10, 15 minutes at the most, but the information that I give in my videos is something that you need to learn. It's something that you need to see, and it's something that I want you to be able to follow along with so that if you are a beginner and you don't know anything, you can just watch a video that's showing you step-by-step -step instructions without really understanding every single thing about it, and you can follow along with. And there's always something to learn. I know I am learning something all the time. I do tons and tons of research to be able to offer you this information. And that's my passion. My passion is being able to share my knowledge with you. And I thank you. I thank you for my loyal subscribers, the people who have been with me for over a year. And I also apologize if I have not been doing my videos and posting every Monday and every Wednesday. I am going to try to live up to that. I am also doing the shout outs for growing channels. And I believe that sharing knowledge is free and I am creating a community of like-minded people called the DIY Affiliate Community where growing channels can go and help each other out. If you are the type of person that wants to be part of that type of community and you are willing and you are able to give your time or your experience and share your knowledge with other people, then I want you to be in the DIY affiliate community. It is really important that you leave me a comment so that I know who you are. When you are looking at YouTube, what are you looking at? You're looking at becoming a YouTube partner. So what does that take? Well, it takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours 
you can very easily get the 1000 subscribers but can you keep them and also the 4000 watch time hours are very important so in my next videos that I am going to be doing I am going to be doing playlists and I also want to start creating playlists for members of the DIY affiliate community and yes I want to take my time and whatever experience I have to do the best job that I can for you because that's what it takes that's what it takes to grow your channel is being able to add value to a person's life or their business this brings me to what this video is about words are powerful keywords are very powerful and I know some people say well you know like it doesn't matter about the keywords well I say yes it does yes it does matter and there is a program called vidIQ that's v-i-d-i-q and you can start that today for free in which will help you to be able to get more views more likes more engagement and ultimately more watch time hours to help you to become a YouTube partner quicker I have been with this company for over a year and I would not recommend something that I didn't use myself I give you just the facts let's get down to the video before we begin this video find my affiliate link in the description and sign up for your free account this will help you to get more views and increase your watch time on YouTube plus give you very valuable analytics about your video or your playlist to sign up is free all you do is put your email address in and your password and click sign up for free vidIQ will ask you well first we'll say thanks for choosing vidIQ get started by authenticating your YouTube channel and then you would click on authenticate with YouTube and you can read this information down here on why they are asking you to authenticate and these are the reasons why access our entire web suite with free features like the analytics board all of your data on one page no more clicking through endless pages reveal keywords see keywords for every video on YouTube using the vid IQ vision Chrome extension and deeper insights okay so when you click on authenticate with YouTube you will see choose an account to authenticate with for me I am choosing another account because I'm already verified with this one and this one so now Google's going to come up and ask me to sign into the account that I would like to authorize So now I am going to type in the name of the account. Enter the password for the account.
choose your account. When you see these lines appearing, you know that your computer is still working. When you see these round circles, it shows you your computer is still working. Okay, so it now says vidIQ wants to access your Google account. This will allow vidIQ to view monetary and non-monetary YouTube analytic reports for your YouTube content. Manage your YouTube account and then make sure that you trust vidIQ. I've been with vidIQ for more than a year and a half and I do trust them. Click yeah, Allow. Okay, so it says please confirm your email address. So go to your cell phone to your Gmail. Find what looks like the vidIQ email confirmation. Click into it and click on the link that says to confirm your account. First thing you want to do is you want to read these steps. You've completed number one. They want you to subscribe to their channel to get more tips on getting more views. So this is information that you would get with a free account. This is a brand new channel. Well, it's been around for a while. I actually made it for my pets, Sky, Loki, and Bub. but this is just an example of what your account will look like. This is a chart. It will show the YouTube search engine optimization and you can check it out from whatever period, the last seven days, last 30 days, this month, last month's custom, whatever you're looking for. This is your YouTube overview. Remember, this is a new channel. This is demographics. This is your top videos and top YouTube searches. Embedded URLs. And trends. So demographics. you would get your top videos, YouTube searches, embedded URLs, your top countries, and your top videos. Say you wanted to have your top embedded URLs. So you get three choices to get your top YouTube searches, embedded URLs, countries, or videos. I'm going to choose. And then if you want to get Pro, which is, uh, I will go over the pricing at the end. But if you want to get Pro, then you will get the YouTube subscribers, YouTube views, and other informations on this card. Up at the top, you will see your analytics, your videos, your descriptions, and this is an upgrade to Pro as well. Pro is going to cost you, I believe, uh, seven fifty. It costs me about ten dollars a month but it is totally worth it because I am going to show you my YouTube channel information. Okay. And then your subscribers, which is really important information.
So you would get a subscriber analysis, the top videos watched, top channels watched. This is also with Pro, why, uh, why they are online. And analyze what your subscribers are watching. You can watch this video. This is um, f uh, for more uh, for people who want to get more into the details of search engine optimization and subscribers and target marketing. This is your search. Sorry, this is search engine optimization. Okay, so here they want you to upgrade to Boost. I'm not on Boost yet. That's my next step. I'm still on Pro. And then here is your competitors. And here is how you can upgrade. You can upgrade to Pro, and this is $10 a month, or you could go to Yearly. So uh, if you go to Yearly, you will save. But what I did. If you go to a yearly billing, you can save up to six months free. So let's have a look at this. If we switch to yearly billing. So it will be $7 a month, three months free, billed yearly, and you can get started with Pro. My thought is get comfortable with the free vidIQ first. See what it can do for you. See if it improves your online presence. See if it improves your channel or helps you. If it helps you, <coughs> if it helps you, then go with the pro and get the yearly billing because you'll get the three months free and it will only cost you seven fifty a month. So I pay ten dollars a month. So to me it is totally worth it. Okay, so now the next thing that I think that you need to do is you need to go to the three dots or I will leave the link in the description for you. We're just going to go to more tools, to extensions. And then up to the three lines. This is just the easiest way, but I will leave the link in the description for you and then down to the Chrome Web Store. You would type in vid IQ and it, so here you will find vid IQ vision for YouTube and I've already got it added but you would install it the same way that you would install any other type of extension. And then you will get this icon here in your browser. So let's go into the Vid IQ Academy. Access Vid IQ Academy. Your account includes access to the Academy. So I am continuing on.
So this is what you would call the basic members course. How to shoot a YouTube video 101 and how to use vidIQ the complete guide. So this is wonderful. This is wonderful news. This will really help you. Let's go to my dashboard. Remember I'm looking at a free account. I'm going to go over to my other account and show you the difference. Okay, so let's view more courses. Equipment to get you started on YouTube. Launch your YouTube channel in 30 days. Keyword research. So this is also very interesting. And I've also showed you the free version. Eventually you are going to upgrade. You will upgrade. If you are building your YouTube channel, creating uh, more organic traffic online, then you are going to be using the analytics that you would get from the vidIQ. And rather going to someplace else, why not? just go with the pro. Yes, there is a free version, but free sometimes isn't always the best. I know because when I first started, my whole channel was based on doing everything free. But then I realized that free is not always the best and there has to be some kind of cost involved in order to help you to understand that something has value although most people say it really doesn't matter in in a way it does so if I was just starting out and I was just starting to build my YouTube channel I would definitely go with the the vidIQ Pro and because I've already used the free version uh, almost six months and then I upgraded to pro and I noticed a difference immediately so I should have did that in the first place okay. have let's make a deal have a deal to offer our customers contact us so show all So these are all people that have things that they have uh, went through vidIQ in order to have an offer for people. So if you have a thought or an offer that you would like to um, go through vidIQ, then you can. Okay, so I'm going to sign out of here and I'm going to sign back into my own. I've just clicked into my the icon in my browser. VidIQ Vision for YouTube. This can read and change site data. When you click the extension on vidIQ.com or on all sites, I have on all sites options. VidIQ extension settings the like to dislike ratio, the toolbar stats drop down, the shortcuts on home page, competitors, trend alerts. I've just got everything clicked here.
this channel I made probably back in 2018. This was my my kitten Loki and Sky and Bub. They were pets. They are with my daughter now. Okay, so in this channel I have verified it with the vidIQ. So we're going to go into YouTube Studio. This is a free account. So let's have a look at this the a comma separated value export. So you can export up to 100 videos. And here is the mass edit videos. Okay, so load by number of videos. Loading the videos. So, search and replace. Filter five items, replace with Sky the dog. And then replace. So now here it's now changed everything to Sky the dog. Okay, so yes, this is good, so I'm ready to make my changes. So now I'm going to close Mass Edit Cards and End Screens. Okay. Choose a source, load by number of videos, all, and cards. Wants me to authenticate my channel with FitIQ. Authenticate with YouTube. Sharing knowledge is free. Going through the same information that I went through before, and I'm just going to click Allow. Count, you will get this. And if you click into the three lines here, you will see Competitors, Trend Alerts, Most Viewed, Channel Audit, Keyword Inspector, Achievements, VidIQ Academy, and VidIQ Rewards. You will also notice this, that you can download or export up to 100 videos. And here is the trending. So now we're going to go into YouTube Studio. Now remember this is a free account. I'm going to show you the difference in the free version and the paid version. And I'm trying to do this as without rushing. From now on, I am making videos in a way that I feel comfortable in doing. So if you like the kind of laid back, kind of not in a hurry style of learning, then you will like this channel. Okay, so this is with a free account here. I'm just waiting for it to be completely in.
Okay. So now I'm going to my videos. Now as you can see, this is a brand new channel. It's encouraging me to upload more videos. If you are just starting and you are a new beginner, then you want to learn everything that you can about working in the, the YouTube studio. Okay, so anytime you see this flag here, and I'm just going to click into these three dots, you could see here you can comma separated value, export up to 100 videos, mass edit videos, mass edit cards and end, end screens and description campaigns. This is what you can do with the free account. And as we as I scroll up, you also see that it appears here again and we if we click on the three dots, you can copy cards. That's video cards that you create copy and end screen, advanced ed embed, send to Facebook, or thumbnail editor. I don't think you can send to Facebook, but I'll just check that. No, that is an upgrade to Boost. Okay. So let's see what you can do. Well, there's no cards to copy. There's no, let's see if we can copy. Can you copy cards? No cards found. Okay. There are no cards yet. So if you can copy cards, you can also copy end screens. And they're going to say no end screens found because I haven't put any end screens on yet either. Okay. And this is what we need to do in order to grow our channel is to use the video cards and the end screens. Advanced embed. Okay. So this is how you can take your video and copy this and put it into a an HTML page or a in a website. Okay. So here you can autoplay the video, show captions, disable keyboard controls, allow full screen, show annotations, loop the video, hide YouTube logo, show related videos, show video information, and en enable enhanced privacy, no cookies. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Okay, and then close. Okay, so that you can also do with a free account. You can't send to Facebook, but you can use the thumbnail editor. Here you can do a video still, you could do a solid color, another image, or the current thumbnail. Okay, so if you do a solid color, you will see the solid color come up. And you just choose. If you choose another image, you could either drop an image in there, or you can get an image from your computer. Say I wanted to use that image right there just as an example. This image would then show up in here. Please upload a file up to 2 me uh, megabytes. Okay. So say we're using the video still. You can change the text. You can add text and edit text through this here where you have fonts and you have sizes use it so just sometimes I mostly use canva.com so I would prefer to use canva.com rather than the thumbnail editor. But in this video, I'm just showing you. Thumbnail editor is there if you want to use it. We're just going to go into a video 
right now. Okay, so here in the with the YouTube, you have you could go right into the video. You can look at comments. You can uh, you can look at analytics, and you can view in on YouTube. So we're just going to go into. Okay, so so. Far this is and this is where it is going to end up. This is the insight. This is the insights from the keywords everywhere. And this is vid IQ here. Top channels. And it says it's found no related opportunities, no related queries. But VIQ has another very interesting feature. It's called inline keywords. When I click on this, it'll take the keywords away. You see them disappear. When I click on it, you will see the keywords come back. So I can look at some keywords here. And this will give me an idea and I can just copy these keywords to a tag to uh, start building my keywords. So why is this important? Well keywords are important because this is what people are typing in and as you could see here YouTube results search query Loki plus the calico kitten sister sky the dog brother bub and sky's first swim okay so this gives me a little bit of an idea now if i just had a loki and i took this out so we're going to just look for loki there's the channel right there. Loki the Calico Kitten. You can see that vidIQ has came up with some results. So we're going to show all nine keywords. And here you can see YouTube results search query and Loki plus the calico kitten. Okay, so this is a good keyword here, calico, Loki, cat, cat videos, cute, and kitten. meow, kittens, and adorable. Copy these to the clipboard and then 
put them into the notepad. Somehow my computer decided to look up Cheeky Kitten for some reason. When you have vid vidIQ, you can create templates. You can use the Keyword Inspector, you can organize your tags, and you can also copy tags. Just click into Templates. These are the templates that I've already created. To create a new template, you would just click into Add New Template, give your template a name, and add your tags inside here, where it says Add Tags. I'm just going to grab some tags here from someplace. Right there. Okay, so you just add your tags, make sure you have a comma separating them, and you just click add tag. It will then add your tags and save your changes. It's important to give Give your template a name and then save your changes. The time that you have a video where you want to use, I labeled it 34, but it is the, the puppy with the kitten and retriever shepherd tags. Keyword Inspector. You would just add a keyword or a phrase. And click on get results. Keywords that I've already used. Add more keywords. I would just click on this plus. The keyword into my keyword tag. Just used search volume, competition, overall score. If you would like to organize your tags, you just click on organize tags. These are the tags that are here. And now, before I organize them, I'd like to see it's Instagram smart bio. I want to put that up on the top. So if you ever had to keep typing in tags because you put them in the wrong order, okay, so basically 
I would just get this tag and move it to where I wanted it to go. I decided to open up another pop-up box. <laughs> okay, so you want to wait till you have the four-headed arrow and then you can move your tag. You see how the tags move around? Done? You click on organize. You click on organize tags so that you are telling this pop-up box you are done. Two pages together that will copy your tags to your clipboard. Okay, so this is what you call the vid IQ search engine optimization score. Okay, so it says here I've done five out of nine for the checklist and I'm going to show you the checklist in one second. Tags help YouTube understand what your video is about. So this is what this vidIQ SEO uh, score is. I'm just waiting for this to actually be uploaded since I've changed things now. I want to save my changes. understand the purpose of videos as they appear in r relevant search results. It gives you a score. Here I got 4 out of 5 tag count, tag volume, I got 2 out of 5 keywords, I got 5 out of 5 keywords in description, 5 out of 5, and 5 out of 5 in tripled keywords. So I would need to improve on the tag count and the tag volume. When you have the vidIQ extension, you will get the YouTube shortcuts to the home, to dashboard, upload, my videos, playlists, comments, subscribers, analytics. This is my channel. The analytics, videos, vidIQ, competition score, descriptions, search engine optimization tags, that's with Boost. I have Pro, this is using Pro, the vidIQ Academy, vidIQ Rewards. And here you will be able to tell how the video is doing. Here it says the engagement is very bad. So that needs to be improved. The YouTube likes, the YouTube dislikes. The video score out of 100, very bad, needs to be improved. The creator suggested the number of videos in the up next section that are from the creator's channel indicates how well the creator is optimized for retaining users. This is not a, YouTube, a, a YouTube metric, but one generated from vidIQ, so this needs improvement the description word count and the description link count. Can, can
compare views in the first 28 days. Now this is something that's very important. We are in because this is called the keyword the inspector optimization checklist. So when you want to optimize your video, you want to make sure that you have the right title, you have the tags, you have a good description, you have video cards, you have end screens, you have closed captions, and you have shared to all of the social media platforms and replied to a recent comment. Shared to Facebook, shared to Twitter, and if your monetization is enabled, add it to a playlist and that it's public. Each one of these arrows will actually take you in to what you need to do. This one is taking me into the YouTube studio. And here is con controversial keywords. If you have any, make sure you take them out because you can actually lose ranking and lose points in Google as well. And then it gives you your average daily views for your uh, video. No, sorry, your channel. And then your views last 30 days, number of subscribers, average daily subs, um, subs in the last 30 days, and your subscribers rank. You can also add more video tags just by typing in Okay, so just by typing in a tag you can just add that And here are my channel tag, uh, my channel tag, and I notice there's nothing under topics. These are the videos that are up next, and if you have any of your videos up next, that is a good sign. That is a good sign if you have more than more than two or three videos that are going to be played next. You will also notice when you are out in the YouTube studio. Sorry, you will also notice when you are out in YouTube these squares with arrows. And here is one of the vidIQ's little gadgets. If you click into there, you could see competitors, trend alerts, most viewed channel audit, oops. So you can get a lot of information even when you're out in a YouTube studio. Okay, and also you will see the three dots and the uh, the blue with the, f the flag. Whenever you see that, it means this is vidIQ, copy cards, copy end screen, advanced embed, send to Facebook, and a thumbnail editor. Now this has sent me to the YouTube studio, some place that I don't want to go. Okay, so now when you type into the search bar, this is just one last thing I'm going to show you. When you type into the search bar, say I type in Instagram, okay, and you press on the space bar, you are going to see 
a number of different other I call them keywords they're not really keywords they're what other people have typed in so if you are creating a video then you want to look at this because this is what people are typing in and also this is a good idea because now I see that I could add another keyword down here which is the Instagram ads and it might improve my score so where is where is the best place to get your keywords right from the search engine right from YouTube and right from Google because when you do the same thing say we go we take this keyword and I'm sorry for spending so much time on this but this is something that's important that um, for an, a person who is just beginning this is valuable information this will help you to be able to get and gain and keep your organic traffic so I'm just going to type in um, Instagram and you see what's happening here it's automatically compiling other information that people have typed in like for instance Instagram TV Instagram fonts Instagram captions Instagram viewer so I'm going to continue typing the smart bio and see what else comes up okay so Instagram smart bio link Instagram smart bio Instagram smart bio for a girl Instagram smart bio ideas okay so doesn't that look like a good keyword so I'm actually this is a keyword phrase so I'm gonna take this copy it go back over and put it into where my tags are so this is a very good way oops that didn't copy so well this is a very good way for you to add your tags while you are out doing your search engine optimization. Okay, so I'm just going to add that tag. See how it add, it will add the tag? see it's gone up two points so you can you can see that this this makes a, a big difference okay and also you will notice here on top Google search Go Google search and then it has the Instagram plus the smart bio and so on and so forth right okay so that is my one tip about using your using the actual search engine to get your keywords So here we are inside of the vidIQ and this is the one for the Sky Loki Bub Pet Supplies Review. And I will be that the name has changed. Okay, so it shows me I have six YouTube views, three in the YouTube search. 
two minutes have been watched. So it's been watched twice. It's one minute long. And already one YouTube like. No subscribers gained yet. Okay. So now let's go into my main account. Here you can see set the times and the dates. This is this looks like almost a month. The number of views, suggested views and the YouTube search. And it gives you a really cool looking graph. And you can look on certain days to see your information. the YouTube overview and this is for I believe this time date as well and then if you look on this graph here this is my highest 145 views, 215 minutes, 3 likes, 10 subscribers, and 2 subscribers lost, and 0 comments. And that was on Wednesday the 5th. And then here you can see the subscribers, subscribers gained, subscribers lost. And they don't have demographics yet but these are my top videos promo marketing video uh, maker app lavender grow kit and how to post Amazon links on Facebook the watch time and here you can change it you can look at the embedded URLs videos YouTube searches I already have YouTube searches here so you can have the three top searches here and then here is the top playlist getting started with the Gutenberg WordPress editor, 1701 views, the community playlist, here is your, the engagement rate, Gutenberg seems to be very very popular, should be making more videos on things that are popular, on how to create a YouTube channel step by step playlist. So you can look at all your playlists. You can also look at the trends, the views, the watch time, search volume, and then the overview. 1,430 YouTube subscribers, sorry, 1,530 YouTube subscribers, 305 videos. So here you can see now we're just going to go over to my channel for a second so I need to sign in that much more of a difference you still get your templates translate keyword inspector organize tags copy tags Let's look at the difference.
and you want to make sure that you do get the extension. Okay, so let's... Oh, want to go with pricing. They just took me into testimonials. Okay, so here you can see if you get started for free, the number of users is one. It's the same with Pro. The number of channels is one, the same with Pro. Competitor tracking is through tracking is six with Pro. Trend alerts one limited options one with pro support basic email email and chat with pro the academy is with the free version and with the pro and the chrome firefox fox extension video scorecard is with the basic and the pro live stats bar is the same with the basic and the pro with the pro you get your YouTube description, keyword research tool, historical analysis, top tweets for videos, and top trending videos. So that is with the pro. And you can start at seven fifty a month. But you can get started for free and if you do get a free account you can keep your free account and I showed you everything that was involved with a free account. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you take a look at this and you decide to to use it. Um, you really will not lose anything. This is free and why not use something that is free to be able to help to grow your online presence. The whole point of me doing this video and not the other video that I intended to do is because I felt that it was really important to put this video out there and to show people and especially to show you who have subscribed to my channel what is important and what is important is to go with a company that is YouTube certified and also gives you a lot of very good tools to work with even for the free version. So thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful evening.